wonder what Teresa's up to now. Well, maybe it's time to stop worrying about her. I mean, maybe there's a perfectly innocent reason for her to leave her holdings to Ethan. Uh, I would still give anything to know what was in that envelope. Now, something's telling me it would shed light on everything she's done. Well, it might, but... I mean, at first glance, you would think that Teresa would have nothing to gain by naming Ethan as trustee for little Ethan until he's old enough to take over. Oh, I agree. But there has got to be more to it than that. Because why wouldn't she just sign everything over to someone in her family? I mean, of course, they would be trusted to safeguard little Ethan's legacy better than anyone else outside the family, right? Yeah, but... Uh, well, none of the Lopez Fitzgeralds are interested in business. And certainly not Luis. And I've never heard anyone say that Miguel was interested in the corporate world. And Paloma seems to have found her calling in police work, like Luis. And, well, maybe Teresa feels Pilar won't live long enough to see little Ethan reach maturity. I guess, but I don't know. I know, but Ethan would probably be running the business now if someone hadn't uncovered that he was really Sam Bennett's son. Well, we all know that was Teresa's doing now, don't we? <clears throat> well, maybe she feels guilty for her actions. Or maybe she's just being smart. She knows that Ethan will do a great job running the company, leaving it successful for her son. Could be. But, um, I still think there's more to it than that. Let's hope we're not interrupting. Not at all, ladies. Sheridan, come over here. Um, Have a look at your son. Look how psyched he is about that chalk. <laughs> well, Ethan picked it up for him. Yeah, good. Um, you know, Ethan was just telling me about uh, Teresa's unusual bequest. Hmm. We were just discussing that inside. For the life of me, I cannot figure out what Teresa hopes to gain by leaving Ethan in charge of everything. Well, it doesn't make sense as a ploy to interfere with your marriage, since, as you said, Teresa didn't intend on anyone seeing the will until after she passed away. That's what I told Gwen, but I think Chris is right. I think Teresa just trusts me to keep Crane's assets intact until little Ethan's time comes. Well, that might be, but does it really matter? I can't imagine Teresa's going to die any time in the near future. Ah, oh, true enough. <laughs> James, that's enough. You want to come inside with us for some snacks? Can I help you a beer? Yes, you can. Thank you. We'll see you inside. Well, I am not convinced. Because Teresa never does anything without a motive. And I'm going to find out what this one is.